Hi guys. I arrived in Cardinal Mountains yesterday, and now today I'm just exploring the jungle a little bit. And I'm getting close to the, the real jungle. Still looking for like a real jungle, but yeah, you can see this is kind of getting to the real jungle. Still not many big trees, but it's fine. Um, and the, I'm staying at a also um, Cadmon Community uh, Center. It's like a community-based kind of guest house. I definitely think I'm going for like a multi-day um, trip. It's like a two-day trip, one night sleeping in a hammock in the jungle. So try and make sure they know I'm here for looking for some real jungle and some uh, animals. And Morning, we started like a nice jungle track. Uh, I went through the jungle, kind of a nice jungle. Not all the big trees, but still some decent. Uh, now we came up to this. I don't know, there were like a couple of hammocks hanging around. Apparently, some wolves uh, are still here, like cutting some of the hardwood because it's they can't earn quite some money with it. And then around these hammocks, we find like quite some uh, snares as well. Uh, now we're gonna enter the forest again. We'll check for leeches once in a while. Fuck! <laughs> Yeah. I just unpacked my backpack and something is was in between my backpack and my back. There's a little spider. Or a little, I don't know. Not sure if it's dangerous or not. Just walking out and we find some elephant poo. Yeah, here. We have to a bit of a higher elevation. We're now uh, in some kind of bamboo, um, reach going to the top. But uh, apparently we're gonna climb the second highest mountain in Cambodia. Not sure what that means, but probably not that high. But we'll see. Right, um, we made it to the top of this mountain, and apparently there's a little view up there. It's not that much, but I'll take you there. Right. How is the view? Pretty good. You can see through the uh, the bushes. I'll let you enjoy it as well. So yeah, we're in this open area now, crossing. Uh, made the crew. The guide is really good. Just looking around and now we have an like, amazing view. So yeah, we got this maybe Bantang or Gao tracks that you see, so, uh, and Dung and the place where we were sleeping. Now we have this amazing view. Oh, I can't look around, look in the background. Probably don't see it that well, but still a lot of elephant dung around. Nothing too fresh. Speaking of one of these cow dungs, there's one here. Look, that's it. Continue our way. Might be our lunch spot. I hope so. Because the view is amazing. Oh, nice. This is great. Thank you very much.
about 7 o'clock. So it's good to be back in my hammock in the other jungle. It's kind of a bit early though, but yeah, it's And now I'm ready to go to bed, I guess. Come on, see what tomorrow brings. This is uh, the night. The rest of the camp is waking up. It was a bit of a cold night, but good night. See if I can see anything. At least, at least the rain stopped, so all good. Good job in the jungle. We heard a bit of uh, sounds and we saw like the hornbill passing by. A really incredible flying over. You can hear like, it's, it's almost like a swan. It's like you hear those wings coming. And now I might try and get like a bit of footage of it. figured out this morning that we actually don't have enough food with us so we're now heading back back to the guest house uh, to the pickup point it's about noon that's a very interesting walk we just uh, jumped over a snake I'll have to show you what it is I have no clue taking the share taxi. Uh, it takes about like two and a half, three hours to get here from Kokong the first to the 40 kilometers like a paved road so I was like why do we need like a four kind of four by four cheap taxi but then the road got like to a sandy road and then when you get to actually the community uh, it started raining as well um, and the roads were really, really bad. So well, you probably could still do it with a normal car, but you'll strut.